Good morning, good evening, and hello to everybody around the globe. And uh, thanks for joining us for the Asada Mesh presentation. Um, uh, I'm delighted to introduce Fernando Sicarelli, who is the business business manager for North America at Asada Mesh, and he will give us a couple of insights today about surface treatments for PET substrates. So, Fernando, over to you. Thank you, Christoph. Um, so I want to be uh, very quick on, on my presentation. There's a lot of material uh, to cover, but uh, I want you to know the purpose of the study was uh, to understand the cause of uh, paste spread, silver paste spread or copper paste spread on uh, 14 different substrates. Uh, and we, we uh, ask uh, five different manufacturers to help us uh, with the study. Uh, the study uh, compares contact angle, uh, adhesion, electrical resistance, and print resolution. Uh, also, later you'll see how each company uh, applies their surface treatment and how it impacts uh, the variables I just mentioned. Participants are uh, Norcope, it's a French company. They submitted five samples. Normandy Coating, a uh, French company. Uh, two samples, uh, Kimoto, Japanese company, one sample, DuPont Aging Films, uh, U.S. Uh, submitted five samples, and Iconix, uh, USA, also submitted one sample. We decided to keep this study simple, so we chose uh, one uh, single paste, so a paste manufactured by Sun Chemical. It's a product CXT0897. Uh, it's a silver conductive ink, and we cured all the samples at 250 degrees F, 121 degrees C for 15 minutes. I want to stop just now and uh, say a special thanks to my colleagues, uh, Mr. Kuchi-san, Matsumoto-san, and Shimoko Maktu-san from our OIH lab. They were key to getting the right measurements uh, for this study. I want to show you what the artwork and the screen looks like. And you can see the design here on the left side. It's five lines, 20, 20 millimeters apart. And there were three different widths, 50, 60, and 70 microns. On the right-hand side, you see the actual screen already made. I want to say thank you to my friend, Jeff Campbell from CIFAR, who helped us uh, make the screens for the study. And uh, one last thing in the screen, we use uh, our mesh, black MS64050 mesh, calendar to 50 microns. The RZ values were 2.1 measured at uh, CIFAR USA and 1.7 uh, measured here in my lab in Tampa. Um, I asked uh, our friends at uh, Kians in Tampa to please measure the, the openings of the mesh. Uh, as you can see here, the 50 was 54.6, the 60 was 62.2, and the 70, 71.8. So here is where the study began. I decided to measure first the RA and the RZ uh, values of the substrates that were supplied to me. I received sheets of uh, A4 size, uh, the short side and the long side were measured. Uh, this is a typical uh, result of what you see. Um, and what you can see here in this window, this red window, is as far as the RA, which is the average uh, surface roughness, is pretty similar for all of them. Yet the RZ, uh, it's, uh, it's all over uh, for, for different manufacturers. One thing I did notice is that in in the cases where the RZ are very close to each other, when measured on the long or the short side, this is where the best resolution, printed resolution, took place. Next thing we measured was contact angle. Uh, we measure uh, with water. This is the uh, the liquid that we had in our lab in Japan. And uh, it's, it's kind of hard to see here, but you can see uh, this is the tip of the device, which is right here. It drops uh, uh, the water on top of the substrate, and we measure this angle right here. I don't know if you guys can see my, my pointer. Um, we took uh, 